אמנת מורד, do you know who I am? I am, uh, I'm uh, from Israel, the most uh, country to the Jews. Uh, in Israel we say it's very, very important to be Jew. If you are not a Jew, you cannot live in Israel, or we put you in a ghetto. And we have ghetto Gaza, 2.1 million people. We don't need them. We bomb them to test our weapons. But sometimes they try to break out. It's really bizarre. Then we have West Bank. We don't like our Muslims and Christians in the West Bank. So we tell them when to stay home and when to go out. Moshe! Good. Do you tell them when to go home and when to stay out? Yeah. Good boy. Do you search the Palestinian women? No. Did you bring me some gold? No. Good boy. Moshe brings me gold every time he goes to West Bank. He has to go search their homes for guns, but he goes brings me their jewelry instead. Good man. I got all this wonderful jewelry here. Moshe went and got me beautiful jewelry from the West Bank. He got me pearls. He got me diamonds. All from West Bank stolen. It's good. I don't need to buy jewelry. For what Palestinians make them get me jewelry? Also, I wanted to say that it's good to serve in the Israeli army. Without the Israeli army, I have no discipline. Before the Israeli army, I used to be stupid. I used to go out and have fun. And I used to go to the library if I was bored and just read books. In the Israeli army, they teach me discipline and how to use a gun. It's very important to use a gun, otherwise your face might melt off. Also, in the Israeli army, they gave me vaccine. Mustard gas vaccine, blue grass vaccine, green grass vaccine, anthrax vaccine. Now, look at me. I'm a super soldier, and none of you can even come near me. Because I am a super soldier, and your face will melt off just from how toxic I am. And this is a true story. I'm not just joking. You can check out. Don't Google Gulf War Syndrome or I'll kill you. You're not supposed to know that soldiers are dying. Anyway, children, Israeli army was the best time of my life where I, a woman, was allowed to hold a gun also. It was cool. I felt Rrr. nobody could come near me. Not even my officer, the rapist, damn him, tfu on him, but never mind. So, children, it's very, very important to not love the Palestinians, because my sister, Sarit Jacobson, with an H, tfu on her leftist, she dared to say she loves the Palestinians, and they threw her out of the army. Stupid sister I have. It's disgusting. <sighs> anyway. I don't recommend you a lefty sister. One believes that there should be no class, just one class. What is this? Democracy. We need only special people to decide what will happen next. The young, we shouldn't count on them. Not even you children. But uh, I have to go now. They're calling me. I have to go and prepare a lot of stuff because there might be a war with Iran. What is happening is, in management, they are afraid, Moshe told me, in management, they are afraid, because the whole world has joined the yellow vest movement. There's always another revolution, and they give it funny names instead of revolution. So people won't know there's a revolution, and we are very afraid. So we're going to speed up the war with Iran to scare you all. And I am Anat Morad, the most beautiful but narcissistic, and the most cruel but the most moral God's chosen people. Thank you, and I hope I didn't bore you. Bye-bye.